It's a new year and time when many start to change their eating habits. Birds and bees spend three quarters of their waking lives acquiring and consuming food but never get fat. So who better to go to for diet advice? Well, Katherine Keller, Senior Associate Editor at Women's Health is here to share the tips you can steal from their December issue inspired by a few furry friends. Mm -hmm. Catherine, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Right, let's start with my favorite, which are the penguins. The cute little penguins, <laughs> yes. So penguins will actually fast for a month or more at a time, so they don't eat anything. Obviously not recommended minute for humans to go that long without food um, but taking a break from eating so maybe after dinner not eating again until you know the morning when you have breakfast has been shown to reduce your calorie consumption um, and the other thing with fasting is that your body prefers to use carbohydrates for energy so when you go a little while without eating it'll start to burn your fat stores instead so it's just kind of a good rule about 12 hours is what they say to stop eating so let's say you have dinner at 7 maybe don't eat breakfast until 7 uh, the next day just take a little so break there's from midnight eating. snacks no good for me right probably not <laughs> unless you want to wait a long That's time a to eat again the next Say. All right, monkeys. <laughs> monkeys, yes. Yeah. So obviously monkeys are known for their bananas, um, and they're sort of the original locavore. They would just grab whatever fruit and produce was around them. And so a study out of Cornell actually showed that women who had fruit bowls on their counters weighed about 14 pounds less than women who didn't. Ah, and you brought some so, of them. Yes, I mean, there's so many them. options these days, especially some that are even already cut up for you and just stuck in a right. plastic container. So easy. So that's the thing is it doesn't just have to be a fruit bowl on your counter. I mean, you know, maybe in New York, we don't always have room for fruit bowls on right, our counters. Right. So for cut up fruits and vegetables, um, it, the idea is to just see them. So you want to put them in clear containers and have them like kind of right in front and center in the fridge so that when you open the door, it's the first thing you see, you're going to be more likely to grab it. All right. and um, and also? It, yeah, it applies also to all snacks. It doesn't just have to be fruit. So like, um, you know, good snacks have fiber, protein, um, things that keep you full. So if it's like nut butter and carrots, or you could do hummus and whole grain crackers. And again, the idea is just right. to have them pre-portioned in clear containers, kind of ready to go so that when you open your fridge, you're going to be more likely to grab that. That's great. I like these. <laughs> All right, whales. Whales. <laughs> so baby whales, actually, the milk that they drink is about 10 times fattier than the cow's milk that you'll find in the supermarket. Mm -hmm. um, and fat, I mean, most people think low fat for, for slimming down, but it's actually been shown that women who prefer the full fat dairy, so full fat yogurt, full fat milk, are about 8% less likely to become overweight or obese. That's interesting. Um, yeah, and the thing with fat is it's just really filling. So your body takes a while to break it down, and so when you eat that, you're going to stay fuller longer. So even though the low fat you know, yogurt may have fewer calories, it's not going to fill you up as much and you might be hungry shortly after eating it. Okay. Sheep? <laughs> Sheep, yes. Sheep, so they chew their food a lot. They chew their cud. They're known for that. Um, and chewing your food a lot is also a way um, research shows to decrease hunger hormones. So um, they say 40 chews. You know, you want to be neurotic and mm -hmm. count every single chew of your food. But just kind of really chewing your food might help you feel more satisfied. And it's also a mindful eating exercise. So, you know, you're chewing mm -hmm. it. You're really tasting it. You're tasting the textures, the flavors. You're going to be more likely to, to feel satisfied when you eat that and eat fewer calories. And I think especially New Yorkers, we eat so fast, everything is such okay. a rush, and we're listening to music, and we're multitasking at the same, so right. it's better just to kind of focus on the food, yeah. and like you said, be exactly. mindful. Exactly. Take a minute and just really be there with your food, and you might eat less overall by doing that. All right. That's going to be hard, but we'll try. Yeah, we'll try. <laughs> How about cows? Cows. So cows actually drink 2,000 ounces of water a day, which is a ton. Obviously way too much for us, um, but there are two things that are really important with being hydrated. The first thing is that sometimes when you feel hungry, you're actually thirsty. Mm. So that feeling of like, oh, I just want to eat something, it may not actually be hunger. So if you stay hydrated, you're going to kind of ward off that false hunger. And the other thing with water, obviously, is that it fills you up. And so there was actually a study that found that women who drink two glasses of water before each meal, so before breakfast, before lunch, and before dinner, they um, lost about 10 pounds over 12 weeks just from adding the water. There was wow. no dietary change. Before so. the meal. Yes. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. so, and this is important. Just carry around those just water bottles all There's the so time, right? There's so cute ones now, too. Yeah. <laughs> and they're portable ones. And just kind of wherever you are, have one nearby. So whenever you feel a little thirsty, just have a sip. <laughs> Catherine, great advice. Thank you so much for being oh, thanks here. thanks again for having me. For more tips on how to eat like an animal, pick up the December issue of Women's Health Magazine. The January-February edition is also out. Or visit them online. We have a link on our website, cbsnewyork.com.